Hey guys, so NVIDIA has unveiled its new Tegra X1 chip, so I want to talk about it and uh, this will surely going to blow your mind because according to NVIDIA, the new Tegra X1 has more power than the fastest supercomputer of 15 years ago. Uh, so the fastest supercomputer of the uh, 15 years ago was ASCII Red, uh, which took up to 1,600 square feet and used 500,000 watts of power. While uh, uh, the Tegra X1 has the same power, uh, and it just uh, has a size of thumbnail, and it just requires like 10 watts of power to power up. So uh, and has that uh, same performance like that supercomputer. So that is amazing. And also the new Tegra X1 is uh, twice as faster than the Tegra K1 found in the Nexus 9. So I do have the Nexus 9. So the Tegra X1 will going to be available in this year's products. It has a 256 core Maxwell GPU, uh, 256 core Maxwell, uh, Maxwell GPU, which is improvement of our the 122 GPU core uh, from the last year Tegra K1. Now also there will be a eight CPU core. So this will be the octa core um, and the processor. So also we have four Cortex A57 and four Cortex A53 CPU cores uh, which will give you 60 fps 4k video and also 1.3 gigapixel of camera throughput and also this these chips are made uh, by using the 20 nanometer process now with the powerful maxwell graphics power on the nvidia tegra x1 the company says that the chip is the first mobile processor that can hold its own against supercomputers and the game console so tegra x1 definitely going to have an extremely great GPU power to handle games, um, might be ha handle games like we have on the PlayStation 4 or consoles. But uh, of course, NVIDIA will going to uh, place this Tegra X1 into a, a new Shield tab. This will going to come in 2015, and this will be my hit target product. I would definitely going to buy Tegra X1. Definitely uh, going to blow up your mind and. Uh, uh, it's amazing how NVIDIA has proved this, so the thing that they've used with their GPUs, like uh, GTX 970 and 980, they have used the same Maxwell architecture with this uh, mobile chip, and it's delivering a power equal to a supercomputer, which is uh, super, super awesome. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and also do subscribe for daily tech videos. I'll see you next one. Peace out.